In this uh, BPMN demo, all what I've done is I've used the subprocess shape over here, and I've put it here. So everything in this shape is actually within another shape. And so we receive, and then this would be our like our management approval, where we either auto approve or we need a manager to manually approve it, and then we're going to send our confirmation. So I've already done the export of this to Visual Studio, and now we can open the trading partner one here, and you can see the. Uh, orchestration that it generated. So it begins with the receive and then notice that it built a huge scope here and we can collapse that so it's actually a, a scope. Then here is inside of that the decide shape and here we don't have any rules yet so we could uh, view the properties window over here. And of course we can come over here and put our put our rule in. Right now see it's just equal to true. So here's where we could say PO amount greater than a thousand. And of course we, we need variables and stuff to be able to do that. And then the name would be amount over a thousand or under a thousand, whatever. There's the auto approve. And then it automatically built the L shape at the end and then after that it came back together and did the send for us. So that's just another quick example of BPMN. So now let's try the other direction. Let's do an import here. So let's go to Diagram, Import, and then we pick our tool that we want to import to and from, and we're going to go to Xlang BizTalk, and then click Import. And I'm going to go off video and find the file that I want. So here is the BT BizTalk 2006 intro course, and these are the different projects I have and one of these is the orchestrations. So it's actually under PO schemas, then we have PO orchestrations. Let's do the one before BAM API and then PO demo one and it says there's nothing to import. This is the help from the tool and again it's telling you here that uh, BizTalk integration needs a separate vendor extension license so I'm pretty sure that's a tool that I do not have installed at this time. So in this demo, we looked at just a few more of the complex shapes over here using the BPM notation, and we saw how that we could generate that to a BizTalk orchestration, but we couldn't do it the other way around at this time. We would, might like to be able to take an orchestration and pull it into here so that we can document it for our business analysts, for instance.